I'd say the strength that you see is pretty broad-based. Clearly, we see a lot of quality with the volume pull, but also we see a lot of excellent synergies um, contributing to that. But the other aspect of our strong performance was the fact that we now have a very strong cash flow in that first quarter, which is actually three times higher than the previous record for Q1, which was back in 2012. So it's a very, very strong start of the year. Is there a broad-based commoditization going on now in your industry where it used to be based on innovation, which is why volume is so important at this point? I'd say questions such as commoditization are long-term developments are very difficult to identify on a quarter or two. I think fundamentally, if there is such a trend, what Solve is doing is moving away from the pack as we become much more of a specialties business. And if I look at the pricing power over time, for example, as one of the indicators, the quality of a differentiated specialties player, which is what we are, in the last three years, we're talking nearly 0.4 billion of positive EBITDA uh, pricing power. So that's one of the indications where by stepping away from the pack and becoming much more specialties focused, you're kind of moving away from the commoditization trends that you talk about, which are long-term trends. Mm. Those trends are worrying, though, at this point. Though, aren't they, Karim? I mean, I understand what you say about the headline earnings, but pricing power was slightly negative at 2.1% uh, negative. And in your own report, you say higher raw materials costs in advanced formulations and lower average prices in performance chemicals have been a factor in that. Um, are, I don't see how this pricing uh, story is going to improve from here. What do you think? Well, I mean, factually, you're completely correct, but let me complete what you've said. Uh, our resilient businesses that are closer to the commodity end, like the functional polymers, have progressed significantly despite the concerns many pundits had around their ability to expand margins, which survey so did. But look at the whole portfolio. Yes, we had a slight uh, negative pricing power, but we actually expanded our EBITDA margin by 0.4%. That to me, and this is a strong, strong margin. We're one of the leaders in that context. So the fact that we have an EBITDA margin of 21%, despite that little blip that you talk about, no, I think it's very, very strong. So we're not at all concerned. Pricing power is one of those things that I'd say there's a lot of self-help. There's a lot of excellence that helps to contribute very positively to that. And we're confident we'll continue with that. So no, I think we're very confident.